Hello! In this tutorial, we're going to be looking through some of the most common Rhino interface features that uh, I would consider uh, essential when working with a grasshopper within Rhino. So as you open Rhino, by default, you would see four viewports. You can activate them by select selecting uh, the name of, of the viewport. And if you double click the name of the viewport on the left upper corner of the active window, you can maximize uh, the view. You can also navigate uh, active views by going through the tabs on the lower left corner, just clicking the tabs. So let's stick uh, with the perspective view and let's have a look at the toolbar palettes or this toolbar on top of the viewport. So under the, the standard tab, you would see some standard options or tools. And also you would see this um, tools for manipulating the view. And what I would like to do now is to intro introduce you to some of the shortcuts for manipulating the viewport within Rhino. So if you want to move the, the view around or pan the view, so you could use shift, hold shift and right click and then you are able to pan the, the view. In order to rotate the view, you can use just a right click, so mouse right click, and you can rotate. One of the, my favorite uh, viewport manipulation tools is uh, Zoom Dynamics, and shortcut for the Zoom Dynamics is Control and right click, and then just move your mouse in and out to zoom in or out. And for the simple zoom, you would just use a mouse wheel. So scroll the wheel. In the lower left, or the lower toolbar, you can see the snap options. So for precision drawings and modeling, you can choose snap options. They, these are similar to all CAD programs. And then we have uh, units over here. So currently I'm working in millimeters, but it's important to know what sort of units you are working in. And you can right click on it and choose to change the unit settings. So over here, there's a dialog box where you can change units to whatever. Uh, just make sure you are aware Again, what sort of units you are working with. I'm going to leave it in millimeters. So this was a very short introduction in operating viewports within Rhino. And now let's talk about named views option. So let's say we would like to create a custom perspective view and save it for for the future use. So we would always have the same view if we would like to get back to it. So currently I'm manipulating the view simply by rotating it. But you can also go to properties uh, in the tab section on the right. And here you can set different lens length. There are also uh, many other settings here under Properties view. I encourage you to explore them. Uh, however, these are not for this tutorial. So let's just pick a view that we would like to save. Let's see this one. In the command prompt, type in named views, and you will have this new tab or dialogs box open up. So here you will be able later to see the list, the thumbnail, a thumbnail list of your named views. Currently uh, we have none. You can also access named views tab uh, by clicking on the options icon here on your right. Third. 
I usually like to keep this tab separately over here. So now let's choose Save Named View. So let's just click on the floppy disk icon and then dialog box opens and asks you to name the view. So we just type in the name and we have this view saved. So if I now manipulate the viewport somehow, change uh, lens length, then save the second view, again type a new name, and we have now two named views. And by double clicking on the thumbnails, I can shuffle through these views quite easily. You can also navigate through these views in the bottom left, so where we have uh, active viewport views. Let's now double click on the title of the viewport in, uh, on the upper left corner and we are back now in the default preview of four active viewports. And now let's expand the options. Yeah, you expand it by clicking on the downward pointing small uh, arrow. And here we have an option, option to set a view. And next to, and, and here are our newly created named views. But I can also choose other views such as isometric, and also top, bottom, perspective, but, but also our custom views. Okay, so this is it for this tutorial. I will see you in the next one.